Hi all, this is Sachin, uh, Sachin VC. So today we are going to discuss on the topic lookup table family creation. So initially uh, the definition, uh, the lookup table contains a type data allowing to specify the multiple part size without creating a separate family type for each size. So uh, lookup table is nothing but it's same as a family creation what we are normally doing, I mean pa fa parametric family creation. Uh, the difference is uh, I will show you one example like yeah so this is our uh, nipco submittal for a valve family so we in when you are looking into model you can see that like some parameter like a b c d and the dimensions are i mean the sizes are mentioned in a uh, schedule in the below of this uh, below uh, so we can see like uh, there is no relation between a b c d so uh, we can't able to create a parametric equation for these things so the normally what we are doing is we are duplicating the family type and creating the each each type like 1 by 4 3 by 8 1 by 1 and a half so each type we will normally create uh, for a couple of cases i mean if there is a only two or three type means it's okay like we can do but coming to n number of things like uh, if you are checking this case means we have 11 types so it's hard to duplicate all the uh, all the types and adding the parameter is it uh, hard working I mean it's a tough job right so at that time we can use this parametric table and parametric family creation so I hope you understand the value of this thing like it's a, just like a smart working don't work hard so yeah coming back to the topic lookup table family actually in lookup table we have two main thing one is creating a CSV file and second thing is the lookup table equation so what in by CFC file? So CFC file is nothing but it's an Excel. I mean Excel format. Excel having .exe .excl format. But coming to this thing, CSV is a comma separated. Uh, I mean comma separated values. That's a definition of CSV. It is nothing but an Excel. Okay, I will show you the Excel what I prepared. So this is what the Excel I prepared for this family. So when we check the model you will get you no know, like this is a this is B C T So each dimensions are mentioned in the schedule. So based on this catalog I created one Excel by manual itself There is no shortcut just create manually and add the all the sizes here So the main thing of this Excel is the heading each column having a separate heading you can see so coming to this one the first column is for our reference rivet will consider on from the second column onwards so each column you can see the heading a double hash length double hash inches so this is a major stuff major thing in this thing uh, i mean when you are uh, looking at the csv file you have to mention the parameter first so which parameter then double hash which type if whether it is angle length area whatever it is you need to mention here then double hash the unit so these are the other cases i mean if you are dealing with angle means you have to follow this thing if you are dealing with area means you have to follow this thing for uh, slope tax uh, volume you have to follow this heading for the each column so i hope you understand the thing i mean how to create a heading this is a major thing we have it's a critical thing we have to follow this thing. we have to follow this one so that is what csv file and coming to lookup table equation so we have a specification like this equation size lookup then one parameter daa i will explain to you so this is a equation size lookup uh, just like if a statement size lookup is common thing and coming to the bra inside the bracket first you need to mention lookup table lookup table this is what the parameter which we assigned here and will assign to the uh, excel name that the csv file we have now that we will add here and after that b b is uh, just like uh, b is the uh, i mean from where we need to take the value output value this is the output value
so b is the output value or input then the 100 is uh, if the condition condition wrong I mean condition fails so that time and the result will be 100 the result will be 100 okay then a is the condition a is the condition So I hope you understand the things like uh, in that bra in double bracket. Uh, I mean, the B means output value. The hundred is if the uh, condition is wrong and the condition is A. So currently, uh, if you are checking this case, means you will get you know the value of A is two point zero. So the value is value of A is for this instance the value of A is. A is equal to 2 so it will check the thing on here in that a column the 2 is here so the statement become true so what will happen it will go this side and the corresponding value of B corresponding value of B is 2 so the result should result will be 2 okay so again I am repeating the same thing like A is the condition A is equal to 2 in the property so if A is equal to 2 means it will check in that A column and the 2 is here so the statement become true then it will go to the corresponding value of B is equal to 2 then it will catch the value 2 and if I input the value if I input the a value as 5 I mean if I put the value as 5 means what will have 5 is not there in this column so the statement become false so it will run this side and value become 100 not 2 it will be become 100 so this is a basic thing of size lookup table so just make a good note on this thing okay and I will show some example. This is size lookup for equation of this thing. So in this equation, we let this is the parameter name. You can see, you can see here b is equal to here. So the a value is 2.20. So it will check for the it whether it is condition is true or false. If it is true, means the corresponding value will be get otherwise the value of a will be added okay so that's what like i hope you guys understand the concept of creating csv file and a lookup table equation so we can move with that family creation so actually i have created one uh, parameter family and i assigned the parameter a b c e d e f uh, and i added some values and you can see the family here so this is what I created the family so uh, coming to the family type so what is the traditional method is for creating this family means first we need to uh, one second yeah so first we need to go there and do uh, edit type new type just we need to add the uh, first size as 1 by 4 then click ok then we need to uh, add the all the a b c d parameters so that is a traditional method for replacing the traditional method we are using the lookup table so as i said the first thing is creating the csv file so this is an excel i created go to here uh, save as uh, browser and uh, Table. I'm just saving here as bar. Just copy this thing, click OK. So, this is the CSV file I created. Just close this thing, go to the 
uh, family ones and just click here and first we need to create one uh, create one parameter and look up table click ok oh it should be text right so just mention the text click ok so this is a family I created and go to here this is a manage lookup table so click here and we need to insert I mean we need to import the created CSC file here just import uh, so just paste the file path here this is a CSC file CSC file just open so it is imported to our uh, family and click OK and just mention the file name here val okay so actually what what is the status means we created the CSS file and saved it and imported to the family and next is syntax I mean lookup table equation so as I said this is a lookup table equation just just copy that thing so I'm pasting here size lookup and it should be matched with the should be matched with the, this thing look up table so I feel like uh, it should be small t right space and small t so look up table and b is the extract parameter should be matched with this thing okay fine and coming to here we I'm adding a a minus 0.5 okay and this is a condition so based on the a value the remaining values are values we will get so I just copy here copy to this one and I'm changing the X and I mean changing the output column as C so it will be C copy Ctrl C Ctrl D Ctrl G so as I said uh, this is an extracting column and this is a condition so actually this is a 2.5 so I'm just changing this into some other value uh, 1.7 sorry 1.76 so what will happen is it automatically update the remaining value this thing this thing this thing okay so if I change the a value to something like the last value as 7.39 so it will automatically update the remaining value 5.8 9.1 8 uh, 3.89 so the remaining value is getting so if I inserted uh, so as I said uh, this value is uh, the condition become fa false I mean condition become wrong so if I am adding the value as 8 so what will happen you can see the value become 100 so 8 is not there in the Excel uh, so the value become 100 here so I'm just my 7 point 2 point 0 5 apply okay and so after that uh, we can simply duplicate and we can simply add the first type here I mean uh, 1 by 1.5 and just change the value of a only then another duplicate the type and just change the value of a only so it will automatically get updated so this is what the advantage of creating a lookup table so once I am I explain create uh, we know that how to create the CSV file and the equation just simply this equation so size lookup look if this is and the parameter name which I assigned here and the parameter name is assigned to the uh, CSV file which I inserted here and next is the extracting column from which column we need to extract the output value this is what the B and if the statement become false the this value get updated here and this is a condition a based on the value of a all the values are updating okay so this is what the uh, 
uh, this is what the lookup table family so if I need to change the data I mean if I change if I need to add one more column for the size 5 means what I, what I need to do is just go there uh, go to the Excel open the valve and just add the size here 5 5 5 5 for your reference I'm just adding everything as 5 and just save as browse I'm just uh, I'm just changing that thing save and after that what we need to do is go go here manage lookup table and you need to delete this thing and we need to add the CSV file once again okay then only exercise said it's a importing right so it's not linking it's importing so we need to do once again like importing once again so if I change the value to 5 means the all the value get 5 okay I hope you guys understand the concept so uh, after all uh, we can export like uh, actually uh, you know if I come if you completed this family means you just need to Uh, if you complete the family, you just need to send the family. So no need to send the uh, send the lookup table Excel. Uh, that is clear, right? No need to send the CSV file to the client side because it's already imported to the family. So once you receive the family, family, <coughs> if it is a lookup table family, means just go there, manage lookup table. You can export the csv file to somewhere else somewhere to your local space so you can edit and you can import once again okay uh, so i hope you guys are enjoying this video and thank you all if you have any queries means please uh, let me know in that comment box so i will reply you guys thank you thank you